Howdy, howdy, YouTube. Piper at the Gates of Dawn here, coming at you with uh, my Tournament Pack 7 opening. I ended up getting uh, 12 packs of these, which is pretty awesome. So there's uh, three cards in each pack. Um, based on the ratios, I'm hoping to get three rares and maybe one super rare. Um, otherwise, the commons are pretty cool. Um, a lot of the Magician's Force super rares and everything have been brought into this set. So you've got Skilled White and Skilled Dark. Those are commons. And then a Breaker, I believe, is a Super. And Cast Command Magician is a Rare. So what I'm going to be going through now is since I don't want to damage any of these cards, since there's only three packs, I'm going to go through and cut the tops off each of them um, real quick. So I'm going to do a fast-forward of that, so bear with me one second. Alright, thank you for bearing with me with that. I'm sure it was a little nerve-wracking. Uh, watch me take a knife that close to all of my packs, but I feel secure enough, and this makes it a lot easier, so we're just going to get right ahead and start. So. Ooh, awesome. And off the first pack, we get a rare scapegoat. That's really cool. Let's see what else we get. A Millennium Golem. Nice. And we get a last will, sweet, nice broken card. So that's really awesome, we got a scapegoat off the first pack. Um, okay. Next. Um, Alright. Yeah, so, I just wanted to do it like this, just so I didn't screw up any of the cards. We have a Wall of Illusion. A Dig Beak. And a skilled white magician, awesome. I was really hoping to get a skilled white. So I'm going to put that up here because that means that sets special. And then pack number three. All right. And there's the counterpart skilled dark magician, awesome. That's pretty cool. A wall of illusion. And another dig beak. So we've got a skilled white and a skilled dark and a scapegoat so far. It's awesome. And uh, pack number four. Oop, I left one card in here on accident. Let's take it out upside down so I don't see it right away. And we'll put it at the bottom and then I'll just flip it over. We have our wall of illusion, a uh, dig beak. And another skill dark magician, awesome. Hoping to get more than one of each. That's that's pretty cool. All right, pack number I think four, maybe five. I'm not really counting. Sorry, this is a longer video. These are really awesome, awesome, awesome cards. Chaos command magician, yes, definitely something I wanted. Rare. A Nicogal number two, and another last will. That's awesome. All right, on to next tournament pack. Wow. Okay, another Chaos Command Magician. That's awesome. So now we've got two of them. Soul Exchange and a uh, Haniwa, or however you want to pronounce it. All right. So far, these are really awesome packs. And another Scapegoat. Cool. Soul Exchange and a Prisman. Nice. So, actually getting a lot more rares than I thought I would. Um, maybe I will get a super rare. That would be pretty awesome here. Almost opened it fully. There we go. I think that's another Prisman, so. Yeah. Alright, Prisman, Soul Exchange, and Haniwa. Alright, then it looks like we got four packs left. So let's see if we can't get one more rare, or maybe even a foil would be nice, a super rare, um, or an ultra rare. That would just be super epic. 
Another Prisman. Fortress Whale Oath. Come on, let's get a Fortress Whale and a Wall of Illusion. Okay. Three more packs. Yeah, Fortress Whale, if you guys don't know, it's like in the neighborhood of 40 to $50. It's one of the super rares out of this set. Ooh, Amazon of Swordswoman. Nice. So we got another rare. That's pretty cool. Soul Exchange and another Prisman. Um, if I can't get a super rare or another foil or a rare, I really want to get another skilled white magician. Um, since they are really fun, awesome cards. And even if I can't pull Fortress Whale, uh, maybe, you know, Break of the Magical Warrior. So I've noticed that the top one is always the rare, so I'll put that on the bottom. Wall of Illusion, maybe I should have done that earlier. Dig Beak and a Skilled Dark Magician, that's good though. So not a rare, but definitely worth the suspense. And for the final pack, for now, because these are awesome, I'm probably going to buy some more. Uh, the seller's got, I think, three more lots up. So I might pick up maybe another 18 packs, hoping to get a super rare or something. Uh, damn it. So last pack, we've got a Prisman, Soul Exchange, and a Hiniwa. But overall, that's pretty good. Um, nice stack of commons. Uh, as far as the commons that are special, you know, three skilled dark magicians is really awesome, and one skilled white. I suppose the skilled dark is better for bringing out dark magician, because that's what, yeah. Um, and the skilled white magician brings out Buster Blader, of course. And to go through our rares, got many more rares than I thought I was going to. I thought I was only going to get like three, and I ended up getting five. Um... We've got our Amazon Swordswoman, super awesome, a Scapegoat, a Chaos Command Magician, another Chaos Command Magician, and another Scapegoat. So that's really awesome. Um, definitely some of the cards I wanted to pull, Chaos Command Magician, Skilled White and Skilled Dark, and Scapegoat. So I'm really happy that I got pretty much everything I wanted. I couldn't get a Super Rare, but that is definitely okay. Um, I do plan on getting some more of these because they're really awesome packs. Uh, this has been the Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Remember to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever you want to see me open next. Post it in the comments below, and I will try to get to it as soon as possible. Um, I will give you guys a little teaser again uh, as my next, as my big 50-pack opening draws nearer and nearer. Um, you know, hold on just a second. Let me clear these out of the way. Yeah, um, so I've got 50 packs right here, it's super awesome, I've got the first 15 packs right here, I'm going to be opening those in chronological order, and then I'm going to be going through the other 35 packs in just a random order, so uh, this is the most complete old school opening that will be on YouTube, I don't think anyone else has done a chronological opening from Legend of Blue Eyes to... Uh, I'm stopping at Lost Millennium, but that's just where I happen to be stopping. I've got a total of like five Invasion of Chaos, a bunch of Dark Crisis, some Magician's Force, so definitely looking forward to opening all of these. I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to it. Stay tuned. 